ordinary life. Like people are scared of like taking risks, I feel like. So once these people like fuck, this is weird. I don't even know where I'm going with this. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Oh, that shit hit me hard. You know, so that like, a lot of kids. Yeah. I, I actually asked a friend, what do you think? Do you think social media is toxic or not? Mm-hmm. And if, if you think it is, why? I, I, it goes both ways. You know, I feel like I've, I've, I've been through the toxic route and I've been through the healthy route. For me, it's the toxic route. Social media, like, bro, sometimes you just be on that shit way too much. And then the shit you see on it really feeds into what you believe. You know, so it's like if I'm seeing this, all this stuff about like negative stuff, you know, or if I'm so ingrained about, okay, this girl follows this guy and this and this. And you overthink yeah. so much stuff. Yeah. And at the same time, you, you're never alone because you always have a phone you can look at. So you can never really process your own thoughts, right? Yeah. That's how it becomes toxic for me. Yeah. On the flip side, how it becomes healthy is I go on social media and I follow certain pages okay. that only spreads positive messages, you know? Okay. Like, on some real shit, like, I didn't follow every Instagram model. I don't follow... A single Instagram model because when I did, bro, and I was seeing that shit every single day, yeah, that, that shit yeah. fucks with your brain, bro. I, I do the same shit. I didn't realize I, did, I actually do the same thing. That, like, when you see him, like, Nick on TikTok, it's different. yeah, when you see yeah. barely naked women every single day, that's gonna mess with your head and then you'll look at women differently, yeah, right? Uh, you yeah. replace that with something that's positive, yeah. something that gives you life, something you enjoy doing, bro, yeah. that, then it becomes healthy, 100%. And I think that's just that's, it's I, a think, balance. I think if somebody were to go to my like videos on TikTok, like. I'd get canceled. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got me. He's already canceled. Two times. Two times. You got to be canceled like three times. Because, like, they need my TikTok following because it's too easy to hit that follow button on TikTok. Yeah. And, like, they're so, like, I, <laughs> be careful now. <laughs> there's advantages because, like, it shows you people you didn't know would have existed otherwise. Facts. <laughs> It's just so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, though, the thing about social media is it gives you this image of someone that's not really them. Like, you, you let's say you follow a girl, right? Yeah. And you see, oh, damn, she looks beautiful. She looks like she has a great life, bro. Like, I met people in my past where it's like their Instagram says, like, I'm super happy. I'm so happy. Like, what's this life? Bro, you know, people are not, not like outright, but they're like, yeah. you know, I'm blessed, all that. And then you talk to them, you're in person, and they're just Sad. down yeah. horrendous. Yeah, like, that's right. I'm that's like, you're not preaching what you live. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, that's, I think that's a danger to talk, a social media. It makes you fall in love with, or it makes you not fall in love, but mm-hmm. it could make you fall in love. Yeah. But it makes you b- believe this idea of someone that's not them. Yeah. I, I feel like 80% of the girls on Instagram, when you see them in person, they don't look like what they have on this. It's, it's weird. Like, I feel like it makes it weird to see them in person. Yeah. Like, like you when I see them in person, I'm like, damn, like, that's what you look like? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm like, you're a real person. Like, like you get so ingrained to the fact that they're just like, a, not a like or a comment or like yeah. a, a follow. Like, they're not like, they're an actual person. Like, they have like the same thoughts that we, like, not same thoughts, but like, they function as humans the same way we do. And like, it just doesn't, it makes you de. I get the whole objectification thing because, like, it actually dehumanizes them. Yeah, it's just um, like become a photo. Yeah, uh, a username. Yeah, like, my mom was right. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> what would your mom say? What would uh, your mom say? Uh, like, my mom, Shut up, Ms. Valdez. <laughs> my, my mom doesn't agree with like the whole hookup culture or whatever. I, mean, I don't agree with the whole hookup culture. Yeah, because like she, the, I mean, the hookup culture is not. It's, it, it doesn't build real connection. Yeah, it doesn't build real connection. What what type of connection does it do? Okay, so this this is my whole theory, right? For me personally, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, for someone else, it could be different. But for me personally, so you know how there's like the love languages? Yeah. So my love language is physical touch. Okay. Right? Me too. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> you know, so like my love language is physical touch, right? Yeah. And with hookup culture, let's say, you know, I hook up with some girl, right? Yeah. Or I hook up with somebody, right? Right. Automatically, I'm physically attracted to them. Yeah. Right? And because I'm so physically attracted to them, we could be emotionally not on the same page. But it doesn't matter. Because my in my brain, I'm already so attracted to the physical part of them. You wait, you go three, four months down the line, it becomes unhealthy, toxic, and it just fucks everything up. Yeah. And so, I mean, uh, for me personally, that shit, it's, just, it's not healthy for me. So. I can relate with that. But why doesn't your mom like <laughs> Yeah, it's been focused on my mom. I <laughs> think about your mom, bro. I don't want to know. You know, so, know. No, like, she'd been with my dad since she was 14. Whoa, what? Yeah, like, I mean, Harry's got them beat, but, like, yeah, 14 years old. 
Um, how old are they right now? If you don't mind saying, fifty-one and fifty. Damn. Yeah. Damn. They've been together for forty something years. Yeah, been for a while. So like, she's never really known anything else. I feel like, I, I, I she doesn't say it's part of it, but like, I honestly think it's part of it, um, because she never experienced it. Um, but like she like she's like oh all this promiscuous like sex and all that it's like it's just gonna make you depressed in the end because like she like uses like her cousin as an example all the time and how like he's gone with like hundreds of women and all that and like he's like gone like entered dark holes and all that and like now like he's just a sad person like he he has like a significant other now like they're not married he's like been with her like for I think like, maybe like, ten years now like they're just not married like they, they live together and all that but like she's like oh I don't want you to end up like him like she always says that. But like, like sometimes, like I think, about, like I think, I think about it sometimes. Like, look, the last three people I've hooked up with, I don't remember it. So like, and at the end of the day, I'm like, damn, like, is this how I want like my life to be? I'm like, yeah. no, and like that's why, like, like the story I was telling earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like I, I, I felt like, cause like sometimes, like you just feel happy. Like yeah. you just, you just feel. Like, if it clicks, Harry, it if you're watching this, like I don't fucking care. <laughs> <laughs> Like sometimes it just, it just clicks. Like it just, no explanation. Like that yeah. person just like they make you truly feel happy, and like I'm I'm a person who like personally I want the most out of every interaction, out of every situation. I mean, I I want to make the most out of everything, and like I guess I just wanted more with this person, and like they were on the same page. So like I knew like I was just leading myself down a dark path, and every single time like during after one of those drunk hook, drunken hookups, I would call her drunk ass. Just call her because like I felt bad about myself. I yeah. know like this is what I actually want. But like now like I realize okay, like I'm just hurting myself by like, doing this. Yeah. So, like that's why no longer contact on my phone doesn't no no eat there. <laughs> I mean that's for, for the Spanish though. audience out there, no eat there. No <laughs> Um I've slowly no longer fucked with it, but like I feel like it's my, fun. It, it is well, fun, it's but fun. it's like it's, not- it's fun because you get to you get to go around like you're not locked down like you get to experience like and, like i like making the most of things so you get to experience everything but at the end of the day like having that person who like you can just like call when you want and like all that it's, it's tell cute. everything too. it's cute like, i'm not gonna lie it's cute like it is yeah it's like, and at the end of the day bro hookup culture for me is so much instant gratification at the end yeah. of the day you wake up in the morning after and you're like you're not fulfilled it's that post not clarity it's that post not clarity. Yeah. You're not fulfilled, bro. You're not. You, you're just not. Versus compared to a girl that you really emotionally invest to, you know, you wake up and you're happy to look at her. You want her to be there. It's different. It's two different feelings, you know. And it's like, but I just feel like nowadays people are just they don't. Not everyone wants to put the effort in. Do the work, baby. Do the work. <laughs> but, but then, like, I I feel like I but have. I feel I like have, I feel like everyone needs to go through the hookup culture phase though to know that. I said that you you hooked up with someone and. You you develop this physical connection or attachment with that person. I feel like at a point it's gonna exhaust. Yeah, it's because gonna dry out. It's, it's gonna dry out because you didn't let five months or six months. You just find out that this wasn't actually what I wanted. You know, like because you didn't get to know that person on on a normal ground. Like you didn't get to know their character. You just felt like, oh, I had a great sex. Like that not. Was good. <laughs> that, that was good. He exactly. Said. You know, some shit like that. Well, so, emotionally, you're not on the same page. Exactly, but emotionally, you're not on the same page. I mean, like you could create emotional attachment from sex. You know that happens, like when it's scientific. Ex- it, it, yeah. Exactly. It flows but, around. But from my theory, I want to have the emotional connection before sex, so that way that sex is ten okay. times better. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. But as a man, that's hard because as a man, you want that instant. So it's all about being self-aware. So what do what do you do if she wants, and then it was like, nah, I want to have that emotional attachment. And she breaks up with you. What you gonna do? I mean, if she if she if I want emotional attachment and she doesn't, she wanna get straight to it. Then it wouldn't have worked out. The nah, first that's okay. Nah, that's okay. No, 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 no. Like if you really fuck with the girl, right? Yeah. Like, you really like the girl, and she just wants that, and she's not respecting who you want and your boundaries. That's a red flag. You listen to Juice World. <laughs> <laughs> like for real, like if a girl don't respect your boundaries, like yeah. you know, I actually had a post-it note with all this person's red flags. Yeah, yeah. Like, I the post-it note. Oh, yeah, I think, I think, <laughs> I, I, it, it's, it actually helps mentally. No, because you see it, something, it it's helps. so easy to neglect them and lie to yourself. Yeah, because love is blind. Love's blind. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Um, so like I always tell my, I always tell my homies like. Man, imagine a world where horniness did not exist. 
Everything will be so much smoother. Yeah, I, I feel like so many people wouldn't be fucking with people they fuck with right now. Because you, you don't want to fuck them. Shit, why are you going to talk to them? Yeah. You, you know, know what a man wants to do? <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will quote, 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 quote Brian Zang right now. If I was asexual, I would be Bill Gates. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucker. I look at the same thing again. <laughs> Yeah, no, the fact, like, think about all the times you think about all the times in class or at work or by yourself where you're just thinking about you know her yeah. or them I don't know <laughs> or him or whoever they them they them yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, I'm whoever gonna, I'm gonna get canceled for this shit, bro. <laughs> my my pronouns are pen slash is bro <laughs> so whoever it is bro like you know like think about all the time you think you spend thinking about them imagine if like you. You cut that time in half at least, and you put focused on what you want. I feel like your life would be so much crazier. Or I'm not crazier. Your life would be so much more productive. Yeah. But I at look, the same time, every human just wants to be loved. Thanks. No matter who you are. I want to cry, bro. I want to cry, bro. I can't relate. I can't, you you nah, call her back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Making exactly. someone's life miserable. I feel you, because like so, love, like. Positive energy attracts positive energy. You know? That's right. You put something out in the world, it's going to come back to you. I truly believe that. Yeah. Like, I've had so much, ex- like, examples and experiences in my everyday life. Like, even today, bro, like, I was just thinking about, like, damn, like, I'm, I got to go buy grocery later. I spend money on food. Like, this fucking sucks. Like, damn, you know. And then I walk out of work and, you know, his homie, our homie, Safal, had $3,000 dining dollars. $3,900. 3900 dining dollars. Which you can use that on campus. You're like Brian, just come here and go to the, go to the Starbucks and get whatever you want. So we cashed out like four hundred dollars, all free for me. He's the like, homie, bro. Yeah. So you spread love, love's gonna come back to you. Yeah. 100%. Same time you spread negativity, that's all you're gonna get back. That's right. And it's like, it's crazy how that works. But like, I swear to God, it, it works. So. It's like, do you believe in affirmation? What do you mean? Like where where you're like. You fucking wake up and you're gonna start saying, "Oh, this is gonna be a good day." This is oh, gonna be 100%. a good day. Oh, hundred percent. I don't say shit like Bill Gates. I'm, okay. like, I'm gonna be happy today. I'm gonna be. It's gonna be a great day. That's different. Because that's something you could control. Yeah, Even Bill of Gates, course. You can't control that. I'm, I don't compare myself against somebody else. That's be fair. I only compare myself from me yesterday. And it's like when you do that and you don't compare yourself, like I don't want to be him, or yeah. Bill Gates, or whoever. Then you just you're just Brian. You're just yeah. you're just Kyle. So it's like I feel like so many people would be so happy. If they just focus on themselves and not stress so much about the environment. Facts. Yeah. You know, like you're gonna be so happy, oh shit, I woke up today. I you know, when you celebrate your small wins, you know, like I woke up today, I, I walked out, I, I took water, a shower, I, I got water, I have everything, you know, you you are more you are more happy, you you have more fun. But then when you wake up and you're like, fuck, I don't I don't have like a sneaker. I don't have like the deers or you know like <laughs> I don't have the beds. You know Not like exactly, you know. exactly like <laughs> when when you become greedy and not like thank become thankful for what you have. That's when you start like being sad and depressed. Because I think our whole society nowadays has the idea of like their environment defines who they are, right? But what if we switch that and say I define what my environment is. Right. Yeah. You 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 choose what your environment is. Your environment doesn't choose you, and I think that makes a big difference. I actually had like this conversation with thou who shall not be named. <laughs> um, beep beep beep. beep, beep. <laughs> no predetermined destiny or free will, like not in a religious way, but yeah. like in just like a humanistic way. Yeah, I, I, you have the capability. You have all the freedom it takes to do whatever you want and become who you want to be. You know, so even though the society is like crazy and pressuring, pressuring you not to be what you want to be, you still have that free will. You still have that power to change your course of line. Like that's free will. Predetermined is that, oh, you can't cross to this lane. You can't do this. It's just that, you know, and I don't feel like, I don't feel like life has ever been that way. Yeah. You know, like mm-hmm. life has always given you, giving you option A and option B. So I've always believed that we have the freedom to, you know, change our, our life, our fun. Yeah. I think so too. I think mm-hmm. I, I don't. I don't think that question is fair because it's like, what do we have free will in terms of, and what do we have predestined determination? Because <laughs> I, I think I think you have free will. You make choices. Yeah. But after you make those choices and you see why, then you realize, oh, that's why I chose it, which could be predetermined destiny. 
No, but you can't go back. You can't go back, but then you, you, but no, you look back, you reflect. But why did that happen? Oh, okay, that's why. I mean, like there's always a reason why something happened. It could like some shit could happen for good or for bad. So like when it's about to happen, that's why you don't think about it too much because if it's, I always say something. If it's meant to be, it's gonna be. Mm -hmm. Which could be said to be predetermined, but it's not because if it's meant to be, then. Hmm, then, mm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if, it, if it's yeah, meant to be, then, that, yeah. uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, like, I don't know, I like something because let's say that, um, if, if I'm meant to choose, I'll rather have free will than predator. Me because, yeah. I'm like, bro, I always love doing whatever I want, like, I don't like being caged in a box, yeah, it makes me go crazy. So, when if I feel like my life is predetermined already, I'm not gonna even walk out. I'm just gonna chill out. And then, right, 100%, if this is A or B, I'm gonna go with free will. Yeah. Because if if you think it's predetermined, like you're gonna be rich and then you don't do shit, then you had the option to work hard or to pursue your goals. Mm -hmm. So it's mostly free will. You yeah. have the power to do whatever you want to do. But it's not A or B. Yeah, but if it was, okay. Yeah, okay. but if you were, there's this philosopher, he says, we all have radical freedom. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do, what? There's no limit. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do right now. You want to go to Russia right now? You can start walking. You want to do anything? There's always a means to it. And like, because we have so many different choices, he he calls this thing called he calls it vertigo. Yeah. Because we have so many choices, and that's why we sometimes feel lost or decide not to do things in order to avoid that like overabundance and just like be overwhelmed mm -hmm. by the amount of things we could just do be doing right now. Yeah. And that's why like our brains good at filtering it. But then like going back to like the main conversation, like I feel like the conversation like like at least like from there perspective like, yeah it's like it's like predeterminism i think personally it happens mostly at birth yeah you don't have any say over that exactly at all 100 but once you start to get older and you mature like mentally and physically and like emotionally and all that i feel like at once you reach that point then that's when the free will kicks in because at that point you yeah can, you could change what was given to you at birth that's right and that's how that's just my mentality, and that's why I, I do it. Like, like you said, I do the fuck I want. Like I hate yeah. people tell me to do something because like even if I was going to do it already, and then they tell me to, do it, I'm like, oh yeah, I would want to. Now that you say it, like exactly, <laughs> I would want. Yeah, like, that's 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 like me, bro. Like I want to do something, and someone is like, go do this. I'm I'm already trying yeah. to do this. Why are you telling me to do that? You know, it kind of pisses me off. So, but then like being in the American society. Like, you always find yourself doing what the fuck they want you to do. Mm. Unfortunately, like, I, there are so much stuff that you didn't want to do, but then because the government told you that you have to do that, you just did it. No, I feel like in America, it's always somebody trying to have control over somebody else because it just adds to their ego. And, like, it may not, like, yeah, they, I can say that in general terms, but, like, you low-key, like, break things apart and think about it, and it can actually be applied to everything. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, bro.